hi guys welcome back to my channel today i am showing you how i am taking down these braids i've had them in for about six weeks so close to two months and i have them braided in just cornrow straight back and i'm going to be using the mane and tail detangler and also the argan oil spray treatment for my hair as i take down my braids you want to moisturize your hair with oil before you start combing through it so that's what i'm doing with the argan oil and then i am taking a small tooth comb and taking the braids down from the ends and bringing it up to the root i am doing this really simply by just using my nails to take out the braids i don't know how to braid hair myself so i always go and get my hair braided and she always braids my hair and then tucks the braids um, at the back of my neck i can't really explain it but it is to help with my wigs so my wigs look really flat in the back so you don't see like where the ends are poking out if that makes sense so that's why the braids look really short because they're tucked in at the end and you just want to take some mane and tail conditioner and spray it every time you take each braid out and then you're going to want to comb from the ends up to the top after you condition it and this really does help when you are washing your hair because you detangling your hair before you actually wash it helps with the process it makes the wash much more easier and manageable because as you guys can see I have some really thick coarse hair but detangling it and combing it out before I get in the shower really helps You also want to be careful once you're getting close to the root of your hair, like by your edges, because I have a lot of got to be glue gel stuck on the edges of my hair because it's close to where I lay my frontal. So um, the first time right there, I accidentally um, take off a piece of my edges because the glue was on there. Um, so what I ended up doing was I moisturize it with some conditioner and some oil and I then I didn't touch my edges from there on out and I'm just going to wash it in the shower so I wouldn't try to like comb out the gel out of your edges because it will rip them off I would just focus on letting it kind of melt and dissolve when you get in the shower and as you can see I am going row by row to detangle it and it is a timely process so I speed through it in the video and I cut some parts out but this uh, kind of takes a, a really long time. And then also what I like to do as well is once I am done taking out a couple of sections of each braid, maybe about three braids, after combing it out, I like to twist it into twisties because I am going to use those sections to wash my hair um, with enough product in each one because if you wash it all at once, it you know, it gets all messy, but twisting it um, makes it a lot easier and it kind of helps stretches out your hair without having to, you know, blow dry it out to get some of the length back.
And then as you can see here, I'm pretty much almost done and I have a whole bunch of twisties now going around my head and this really helps uh, with trying to figure out what I have touched and what I haven't touched and you know, I always mess up because I can't really see myself as I do this so I just feel around and putting it in little twisty ponytails really helps with you know, organizing and sectioning off my hair. I'm pretty much to my last few strands here. And then so as I am twisting the last few pieces, as you can see, I have a whole bunch of dandruff on my shirt, a whole bunch of dandruff in my hair, but now I am ready to start washing my hair. And there I am thinking I'm cute with those twists, but those twists are not cute. But anyway, I'm using the Cream of Nature shampoo. It is a moisturizing shampoo that smells like mangoes. And I'm just getting in the shower and I am taking each section of hair and and I am lathering it with shampoo and depending on how much hair you have um, is going to depend on how much shampoo you need so I use a lot of shampoo one because I have a whole bunch of dandruff and two because I have thick hair and I just feel like I just feel like sectioning it and lots of shampoo makes it a lot better I don't know who knows but I, I like it I like the way it feels on my hair um, but anyway so you just want to take each section um, I'm wearing a, a shirt in the shower so that's why I'm not really trying to get too wet in the water but on a regular day I would actually be underneath the water um, you know wetting my hair and putting the shampoo in it but for the purposes of the video um, I'm shampooing my hair before I just soak it in the water but it's a little wet it's damp I also like to make sure I really get to the roots of my hair by scratching it with my nails it feels so 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 good when I am massaging my scalp with my nails and fingers it feels really good to get all the dead skin and like the dandruff and stuff out and the water just makes it feel really relaxed and refreshing so and I think the lucky part for me is too is that since we combed out the hair before I got in the shower and start washing it. I don't receive a lot of fallout hair in the shower. My drain doesn't get clogged or anything like that. I pulled out most of the hair that would have came out when I was combing it and conditioning it before the shower.
And then I am just on to the other side now, getting more shampoo and lathering that into the other half of my hair. I feel like this side of my hair is a lot more harder to maintain. I just feel like this side of my hair is a lot thicker than the other side. Even if I was trying to like flat iron it or press it out, it always gives me more work than the other side. But I use a lot of shampoo on this side, especially on my edges, because this is where I like to dissolve the got to be glue gel out of my hair as opposed to ripping it out while it's dry on accident with a comb and it dissolves really easily uh, with the water and the shampoo. I really like to get the top of my scalp. It always really itches uh, when I have a lot of dandruff in it, but it feels good once you get everything out and you just want to massage all over your scalp, have it feeling good and smooth. And then you're gonna wanna rinse out all of the shampoo out of your hair and my, I know my facial expressions uh, are not pleasant during this video but it's because I always get shampoo and water in my eye so I look a little rough but it's not a painful wash day it's a good wash day and then I always have a towel nearby to get all the stuff out of my eye. And then I kind of just check to make sure all of their shampoo is out of my hair. And I check to see if I have any like fallout hair that needs to be pulled out. But for the most part, everything is out of my edges and my hair looks pretty clean. So we're on to the Amla Legend Conditioner. I use this to condition my hair. I need to buy some more because I am running out but I actually don't use a lot of conditioner in my hair just because I just don't I just don't like a lot of conditioner in my hair but I put it um, usually around the edges and on the top part of my hair and I rub it and moisturize it in throughout the ends to the back I mean that's pretty much how it looks with the conditioner in it um, I like it a lot I don't experiment a lot with too many conditioners but I pretty much just leave it in for a couple minutes uh, saturate it a little bit and then I am ready to wash it out usually because I'm in the shower for the long time and I'm just ready I'm just ready to get out <laughs> So after I am done rinsing out all of the conditioner of my hair, um, I pretty much kind of turn off the water and pat it dry with a towel. Um, my camera pretty much died around here. I was going to show you guys how I blow dry my hair, but I pretty much have it just where it's fully washed and this is how it looks. It's nice, full, and thick and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe.